she hurt the students. She degraded them. Um, she hurt the black community. Longtime Newton resident Bridget Ray Canada is talking about this. A preschool teacher helping a group of toddlers make paper plates into blackface masks, widely considered an offensive and racist stereotype that essentially mocks the African American experience. This video is brought to you by The Officer Tatum Store. The Officer Tatum Store. Get all the cool merch in the description section. Also, you can go down to the tab. Now it's a carousel. Under the video, we can click on the, the, the merchandise and buy it there. Or you can click the link. Or you can just go to the website at The Officer Tatum Store. Like and subscribe to the channel. Hit the bell so you get notifications notification. Anytime we go live, make a video. Make sure you still subscribe to the channel. Like this video. Comment on the video. Share this video. Let's get into this. So I um, was looking at this article. Sean them sent me an article of Three black kids in preschool. The teacher is Latino. And I guess she get these, these pieces of paper, these cardboard, I mean these uh, little, little, little pizza plates, and she paint them black. And the kids wear it on their face. Like they, they probably put a string around it and put it over their face. And one was a construction worker, one was a police officer. And pa a parent literally put her kid out to school over this. Can somebody explain to me what is the big deal about a teacher who's Mexican painting a, a piece of paper black and the kids wearing it on their face like a mask and then they're dressing up in, as honorable members of society? I, I just don't get it. Are you, are you trying to say that she's mocking black people? Are you trying to say it's a sin to want to be black? Maybe the kids wanted to be a black police officer. Is that a crime if a kid wants to be a black police officer? Is that a crime? It, you know, for a teacher to, which we have no context why the teacher did it. Maybe the teacher have, maybe the teacher ain't thinking nothing about black folks, and she just did that. Is that a is that a crime? Is it a negative? Even if it was blackface. If you're painting a black face on a kid and they're and they're representing honorable professions, is that a bad thing? I, I, I guarantee you, if white if black kids were at school painting themselves white and doing honorable things, I, I guarantee you a white person wouldn't complain. Not one activist, not one protester, nobody would. But for some reason, black people have to be offended by everything that happens on planet Earth. Local preschool is under fire tonight after a teacher had toddlers make and wear blackface masks. WBC's Ken McLeod is live in Newton with more on the fallout. Ken. Anna Riddis, the I See Kids Montessori daycare and preschool right behind me here on Washington Street is shut down now after an incident exactly a week ago today that was supposedly aimed at helping youngsters celebrate Black History Month. She hurt the students. She degraded them. Um, she hurt the black community. Longtime Newton resident Bridget Ray Canada is talking about this. A preschool teacher helping a group of toddlers make paper plates into blackface masks, widely considered an offensive and racist stereotype that essentially mocks the African American experience. And for people to claim ignorance, I, I think it's unacceptable in 2022. The school shut down after a black mother with two children who took part in the mask making episode angrily complained and yanked her two kids. She declined an on camera interview tonight saying her family is now suffering racial backlash on social media. The school fired the teacher before closing and issued a statement saying the curriculum was not executed in the manner that it should have been. Talk about the things that are going to make our black students feel good about themselves and also that other students know that black people did more than just were here as slaves. As a founding member of the Newton Coalition of Black Residents, Bridget Ray Canada points to all sorts of resources available to educators which focus on the contributions of proud black Americans. The owner's statement says if he does decide to reopen the daycare, he'll aim high for a more diverse staff with a strong child care background and experience. I mean, I think that's a, a step. Um, I think he has to educate himself as well. 
That owner declined an on-camera interview tonight, but told me he was not here the day this incident happened. He says he's pointed the dozen or so families who use this location to other nearby daycares. Live in Newton tonight, Ken McLeod, WBZ News. Ken, thank you. Hold on, hold on. I can't, I can't. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't, I cannot listen to this. You, woman, you, they, they put paper plates to represent being black. Let's just say that that's what they did. They dressed up as a police officer. They dressed up as a construction worker. They're trying to honor y'all. And you talking about slavery. What part of that picture, what part of that event did that, we wasn't police officers during slavery. What are you talking about? I, I, ladies and gentlemen, I'm so sick of these people. It is mind blowing. And when I say these people, I'm not talking about all black people. I'm talking about the ones who always complaining about something. You literally shut the school down and ain't going to shut nothing down when Ray Ray selling dope on the same street. Got black men turning into zombies. And you ain't going to say nothing. I cannot. I'm sick of people that just complain all the time. And I hate that it's always black people. Because I think other people probably feel infractions similar to this. But they don't, they ain't crying all the time. This woman, I'm telling you, like, I, I think that, I think that, I think that there's a there's a remnant of black people. Let me let me say it right this before I don't get fired on the show. I think that there's a spirit that is flowing through the black community and it lands on people. And it's a spirit of foolery and victimhood and anti-biblical beliefs. I think that I think the spirit is just floating over the black community and some people are just receiving it in their spirit. Some are not. How do you still talk about slavery today? We have done so much between slavery and the day. Y'all can't even talk about. I mean, God dang. It, we're going to be 400 years past slavery. And, I mean, I would say 400, 400 years from now. We're going to be a thousand years past slavery and there, there's still going to be black people saying, but slavery when we was in slavery. Come on, man. God dog. We way past slavery. Black people that had so many more experiences in America outside of slavery, after slavery. God, dog. And slavery wasn't even all of America. It was only in the South. There was no slavery in the North. It was only in the South. And you had to be a successful white person to even be able to afford slaves. And not every slave was on the plantation. Not every slave was on a major plantation. Not every slave was created equal. Did you know that Harriet Tubman's husband was a free man and, she, and he lived with her before she escaped and started the Underground Railroad? Hold the phone. I'll be back after the break. <laughs> 